How is analytics directly related to the tiger population in India? How can data help with the fluctuating source of electricity back home? To discuss this and more, we talk to Raj Kishanar, Regional Head, State Government at SAS. In our fifth video in the series, Raj Kishan gave us a unique insight into how the Indian government has been using data analytics, artificial intelligence and machine learning to make the lives of the citizens better. Do we help in uh, the governments in effectively collecting the revenue from what is uh, where it is due? Uh, we work a lot with uh, state as well as central uh, taxation agencies in terms of plugging the revenue leakages, uh, ensuring more compliance of uh, I mean, uh, by taxpayers, uh, and also with respect to improving operational efficiencies of the uh, revenue earning departments. There are a lot of uh, departments which use, for example, power. So, a uh, power is a is a unique sector where uh, the manufactured product cannot be stored. So, it is very essential that we manufacture or produce power only to the extent of what we can consume. Else, if if it is overproduced, you can't store. If it is underproduced, the service becomes a problem. So, we help. Uh, the power utilities in terms of forecasting what exactly or to, uh, to the maximum possible accuracy in terms of what exactly would be the consumption basis which the production happens. Wildlife uh, uh, department of a uh, particular state wanted to basically reduce the human wildlife con conflict and specific to tigers. Uh, earlier uh, the 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 guards who are on duty used to alert the you know uh, villagers when uh, uh, when a cat basically gets into a habited habitated area, but they wanted it to be more effective, especially specifically in, in nights. So where SAS helped them was basically the, there were camera traps which was uh, let, left uh, um, which was laid by the uh, in wildlife department. The Analytical algorithms or the you know uh, image analytics algorithms were actually put on the camera so that as soon as a cat is detected or a, a object is detected, it is classified whether it is a cat or not or a tiger or not. Basis which an alert is given to the villagers that you no know, uh, there is a, a, a cat which is on the you know, in, inside the habitat uh, in, inside the village, which basically in effect helped in basically reducing human casualties as well as the you know protected animal. animal is the tiger casualties. So these are some very interesting you know, artificial intelligence case studies which is coming up uh, in, in India. Uh, specifically in government, it is going to be big basically uh, because of uh, every department, uh, there is a huge IT push uh, across the country, uh, whether it is state or central government. Now every application generates data. Now, Getting a clear view of what data the government has is becoming more and more difficult. For example, I can just give you an example. A person who is availing services from 10 different departments of government has got 10 different records in 10 different departments. Now, if the government has to come out with a scheme which basically uh, touches a particular segment of the society, Government has, will not have a clue until and unless all the 10 records are brought together and a single view of the citizen is created. Now, if you look at it, this 10 different records lying in 10 different you know, uh, databases as 10 different you know, uh, entities is big data. That's exactly what we call it as big data because the variety is high, the velocity is high and it's, it's, it's massive. The, the volumes are very, very high. The, the age of uh, single technology uh, specialization is basically uh, moving out and it is becoming more of uh, collaborative analytics where uh, multiple technologies come together to work. Uh, for uh, people who are venturing into analytics uh, business, basically the uh, young entrepreneurs who are venturing into analytics business, 
it is always better to have uh, multiple technologies you know working together rather than just focusing on one single technology